Hi everyone, this is Mayank Kothari and today I am going to talk about the SFM paper that is going to be held on 17th of the November for Chennai students. So, this video is specifically for the Chennai students only. What I am going to tell you is what should be the strategy just one day before the exam. Now, you will be, <coughs> so there are two types of people that uh, I am going to talk about. The first one will be those who are going for the both groups in November 2017 and they will be having IDT paper just before the paper of strategic financial management. So, for them there will be a situation and for those who have first group only uh, in November 2017, so they will be getting like uh, say now, now, right now from 9th of the November to 16th of the November, they will be having sufficient time for a strategic financial management paper before the 17th November. Now, first I'm going to talk about those who are having just first group. You have lots of time. Just make sure that you are completing the practice manual. Focus. Focus is very important. Don't just go uh, for solving every damn thing. Like, I have that teacher's note, I will solve all the questions from that teacher's uh, book. I have that teacher's note. Again, I will solve the important questions from that. I will solve the practice manual, I will solve the RTP, everything. You don't have that much of the time. You have to be conceptually right. You don't have to be quantitatively right. Okay, so the quality matters the most. Now, one of the most important thing that you should take care of is the practice manual. Practice manual should be completed anyhow. The first preference above all the faculties, all the teachers, uh, like even Mayan Kothari, you should give preference to the practice manual, complete all the practice manual conceptually and not just for the answers. Okay. If you are able to do that, I will tell you, November 2017, 3rd November, okay, basically. So, there was a paper for rest of the India, SFM, and it was like, out of 120 marks, there was 99 marks you can trace from the uh, practice manual. And if you go uh, and trace directly from the practice manual, uh, not indirectly, so you can trace around 80 marks paper from the practice manual itself. So, why you are looking for some other sources? Focus on the 80 marks, 90 marks. And if you are going conceptually, you can solve the entire paper. So, practice manual is important. Okay. The next thing is uh, uh, the RTPs. Uh, past three RTPs or four RTPs, you should solve it. You can get that on the institute's website if you don't have it. Okay. After that, uh, the mock test paper is obviously there. And uh, try in the last three days or four days, try to solve the question paper. In the question paper format, download it from the institute's website. The suggested answer basically or the question paper around uh, for past three to four attempts in the same condition exam condition go for that you will you will be gaining some confidence before the SFM paper and the ultimate objective is the paper should be good okay now talking about the level of the SFM paper make uh, I will I will make sure one thing or uh, I will ensure you what I can say is like 3rd November, on 3rd November 2017, the paper was quite easy, okay, for rest of the India. So, comparatively, the level will be same for Chennai students also. It won't be like this, that uh, the paper for 3rd November 2017 student was so easy for rest of India, and it was so difficult for Chennai students. So, it won't be like that, according to me, but we cannot say anything about the institutes, obviously. So, there is... There are chances. So, and one more thing, there won't be any question from the 3rd November 2017 paper or direct question will not be there. Concept may be covered, the same concept may be covered, like half of the concept can be covered, but in the different types of questions. So, you should go through the 3rd November paper also once. This is all about the strategy for the, uh, for those who are having just one group, the first group, okay, and they are having uh, like lots of time before the SFM paper in the last day. Like on 16th of the November, you should do only selected questions. I'm telling you, just don't go uh, before solving all the uh, questions. Just focus on the selective question, the minimum question, considering the entire concepts. Like, there should be a bunch of selected questions you have marked while studying earlier. That, okay, these, 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 these are the questions that I should complete. These little number of questions covered maximum concept. The focus should be on the conceptual clarity. Once you g gain that, you will be good at the paper. So, if you have it, that's very good. Otherwise, also I have prepared an important question list uh, and that will be available in the description part. Uh, that, I, that, 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 that will be same for, that was the same for 3rd November students. 
November 17. So basically, it is not like these are the question that is going to be there in the exam. No, but these are the question. The concept in those will be like you can trace the maximum paper uh, which is going to be asked in 17th on 17th November. The concept can be traced directly from those questions. So yes, that will help you for sure. So these are all the things that I wanted to talk about, uh, talk uh, like tell, uh, yeah, inform to the students who are, who are having who are having actually first group only. Now talking about those who are having both the groups and this is going to be difficult for them. It's actually difficult for them because they are not getting a break, a one day break for revision before the SFM paper. They will be having like six on 16th of the November, they will be having their indirect taxes paper on the next very next day, we will be having uh, the SFM paper. So you will be having a lot like almost little to no time you can say so in that case very specifically I will tell you don't go beyond solving the entire uh, like be, like to solve the entire practice manual no you are not able to complete it I'm telling you you are not able to complete it instead of doing four chapters good and leaving all the other chapters make sure that you are doing all the chapters with little number of questions so in that case this important question list is going to help you go and solve these important question list 124 questions are there solve these and stay confident you are just focused on this these number of questions which covers 95 90 percent of the concept of the entire syllabus and if you go conceptually not to not just to find out the uh, solution for that if you go conceptually if you understand the formula while solving those question or doing the revision of those questions from the practice manual then you will be able to do good in the SFM paper I'm damn sure otherwise also if you're not referring this question if you're referring your faculties book or uh, some textbook make sure that you have you are selected or already you are sorted for that that you are not doing all the 500 questions included in the practice manual in one single day you cannot complete it so better you should have a charts or uh, like uh, formula notes or some notes prepared by you to revise in the last day so this is what the, this is the only thing that i wanted to tell to the both group uh, people that stay stop, sorted minimum number of questions like minimum things to cover up on that day cover up all the chapters but like selected questions selected concepts from that rest of the question just leave it the, it happens most of the time it happens that in my in in our mind it comes like okay i'm leaving this uh, particular question um, maybe institute is like they, they are going to ask this this question i should do this also then then when we are we are moving to the another chapter and we are doing 10 questions we are leaving the 11th one and then something comes up uh, pops up in our mind that okay institute can ask this question also and we go ahead and solve that question what happens at the end of the day the time is not there now it will run out so uh, uh, what will happen like on the very next day when, when you will be like going before uh, the paper to the center there will be like you will you will find out that okay three to four chapters are there which are still pending and you cannot do anything that will create nervousness you will get panic and what will happen the chapters you did will also get affected from that that's why I'm telling you just close all the books just close the eyes from all the other books like solve selected questions only that's it which covers the maximum concept so that you are not leaving any cons concept and you are doing it well within the time that will help you for sure this is the only strategy that i wanted to discuss for the chennai students and that was purely in english because i know there are lots of people in chennai who don't understand the hindi so don't understand hindi so all the best for your exam and drop me a message after the exams i will be waiting for that bye bye